So tonight we're going to do careful everyday observations. Okay. And these are just things that you come across every day that you should probably know. Some of the couple of things I threw in like extra hard questions that lots of the sites that do this kind of thing say uh -huh. that people get less than half of them right. I made this particularly hard. So I'll be surprised if you get wah, very wah, many wah. right at all. But the, but maybe <laughs> half. We're going to try. Maybe half. Yep. So, we've got a good crew out there. Yeah. So we know we're going to do this. Yeah, and everybody sort of uh, helps each other along the way. So, okay. So, for for example, um, we all know the yellow light is in the middle of a traffic signal, right? Right. But is the green light typically on the top or the bottom? And that's this is an example question. And that's, you know, this is, this is exactly the kind of thing we're talking about because you know it, or right. at least you think you know it. But then when you stop and think about it, you go, wait a second. Do I know it for sure? I know the yellow one's in the middle. <laughs> the yellow one in the middle, we know. So, so which where is the green light? Is it typically above the yellow light or is it below the yellow light? I think it's, oh my. I'm going to say below the yellow light. It's on the bottom. Yeah, that's where it is. <sighs> it's on the bottom. See, right there. Okay. I feel that's on the bottom. Okay, I got one. That's the standard light <laughs> setup. <laughs> All right. Sometimes they're sideways. Can we stop now? Sometimes they're sideways. Well, I mean, no, That's no. I want to go. Now so, I'm on, yeah. a, I'm so on a let's, roll. Let's roll on to the next one, okay. right? So here's the next question. We all know that George Washington is on the $1 bill. We all have a, I have a $1 bill in my wallet right now. Okay. In fact, I use it to reference this question. But on the front of the bill, what words are printed at the very top? There's a lot of different words printed on it. But at the very top line, what words does it say on the $1 bill? know the answer to that one <laughs> it says something what are Is some things that the, do, do you know some things that the, that the dollar bill says i think it says does it say in god we trust <laughs> it does it still does yeah e i think it says that too it also says washington on it somewhere something about a snake it also says the number one somewhere yeah in the corner mm -hmm. Okay. So what's the highest thing on the $1 bill? That's the question. David's saying, in God we trust. In God we trust. Is that what he thinks? Mm -hmm. Hi, David, by the way. Glad to see nice you to on see YouTube. You. Always nice to see you on YouTube. It's a relief when I see that YouTube one popping it's up. I know that. <laughs> um, let's, let's look at it. Okay. The Joel answer says is, it says $1. The answer is Federal Reserve. Reserve. It, says, it says Federal Reserve note at the very top. The one dollar bill. See, it I did circled. not remember that. Just so you know, in case you didn't know that it was a Federal Reserve note. The United States of America. <laughs> oh All my right. goodness. Next one. Next one. Traditionally, which side has the buttons on women's clothing? Which side has the buttons? On women's clothing. Oh, left or right? <laughs> left or right? Uh, so when you button something, right? You button it up. Yeah. Buttons are on the left. The buttons are on the left? I think. And so that would make the, the holes, on, holes the right. are on the right. Is that backwards? <laughs> Let's see. Um, hmm. Is that how it is? I'm, I wish I had a. Kathy says left as they. Every, everyone's saying left. Kathy says left. Okay. Joel says left. I'm, I'm going to teach you in a way that you will never forget, uh -oh. but everybody already knows. It is. It's the left. Okay. Good. Well, we got it. It's the left side, yeah. Uh, traditionally, it's on so the left, but, but for men, it's on the right side. That's yeah. all there is. I'm all done. That's all there is. Um, do you know why that is? I have no idea. Because when buttons were invented, buttons were expensive, mm -hmm. right? And who could afford them? Well, I guess rich people. Yeah, very rich people. Mm -hmm. And these very rich people, way back when, when buttons were invented, this wasn't like in the last... 50 years or 100 years. This is a long time ago. Uh -huh. People dressed those women. Oh, okay. And so buttons are designed mm -hmm. to, for the right-handed. Mm -hmm. Ladies' buttons are designed for the right-handed mm -hmm. uh, dresser. Dresser, And men's oh. are for the right-handed. Now here, now here, so, and here's how, here's, I'm not just making that up. <laughs> and, and here's, how do I know? Here's a little bit of a proof. If you look at jeans, uh -huh. Right, 
it's not as as often true on genes because genes are a later invention of the commoner and uh and they've started to go now now all clothes have started to go away from it because we're buying unisex clothes now and all that hmm. sort of thing but um, anyway just so now you'll know that buttons are designed for right-handed manipulation okay. and women are at a disadvantage huh but we we're t- we understand you need how somebody to, to we, address you we're very adaptive i don't think so we just be fine on our own okay but that's all right. good <laughs> Next question. Here's here's something you you see every day. Um, Amazon has an arrow in the shape of a smile and its logo. Which letter does the arrow point? I actually think I know this one. Does, does Amazon? Do, can you picture the yes. the smile? I should be able to picture the smile because I get a box from Amazon on a routine basis, <laughs> unfortunately, or fortunately for Amazon. Is it to the left or to the right? To the left or to the right? Which, so way which, does the arrow, which way does the arrow point? Points to the right. Uh huh. And what letter does it? It points to the Joel saying A, but I think it points to the Z because he's and David says A to Z. That makes sense. Uh huh. So it start. So he's saying it starts at the A and goes to the Z. Right. That's exactly what it is. It I never thought about though. The point of it going from A to Z. <laughs> they have everything. They have everything. Everything from so... A to Z. Yeah. Amazon. Huh. There you go. How about that? Huh? You learn so. So it's, it points at the Z. Now you know. You see it every day, but you, you sometimes you don't. Have Lots everything. of people got that. Lots of people okay. did not. Okay. Here's one. Here's there's a lot of questions. This one's about the flag. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of questions about the flag. Everybody knows the United States flag in the United States, right? Mm-hmm. We should be up on that. The flag of the United States of America has 13 stripes. You know that. 50 stars, right? Right. How many stars are in the first row of stars on the flag? <laughs> we should so, know this. Well, think about it. It's, it. It shouldn't be too tough to noodle through. I mean, you've seen, you've seen the flag quite a few times. I Haven't have... you ever stopped and thought, oh, look at all those stars. I hmm. wonder how many are in the first I wonder, row. I wonder, there are 50. How did they get 50 on that little blue patch? <laughs> One of the questions you hear a lot is, what's the uh, highest stripe? What color is the highest stripe? Red. Yeah, and it's also the lowest one because there's 13, so there's an odd number. So it starts and ends with red. But, that this, I know. but this one's a little bit harder. Yeah, it is a lot how harder. How many stars? <laughs> how many stars? How, do they, how, how are the stars configured on them? Like you've seen, you pledged allegiance to it every day. Every, what were you doing while you were pledging allegiance? I wasn't counting the row. <laughs> you must have been looking at <laughs> David it. David says he's going to say eight. Uh huh. And Kathy's saying thirteen. Uh huh. Something that's hard to know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How many is? I don't know. I really don't have a clue. Well, it turns out that there are six. six. Um. There are six in the first row, and then five in the next row, and then six, and then five, and then six, and then five, and then six, and then five, and then six. And that adds up to 50. I might have skipped. Wow. I might have skipped. Six. I'm going to remember this there's now There's six forever. stars in the first row. In case anybody How many times have you looked at the flag? I've looked at the flag many times, yeah. but I've never counted the stars in yeah. the top row. Well, now you will. I counted them on the way home. I was at the doctor. I was at the doctor's with my mother, and I was uh, coming home, and we were, and I was looking at flags because yeah. i was looking for questions right well kathy's going back to the original flag. yeah 13, 13 original would make sense but um but on the 50 you have to get 50 stars on right there. and I, so i thought well there must be 10 there must be five rows of 10 is what i was thinking yeah. and then i, I said well, how would they do right. it but that, so then they're be, offset then could it be 10 rows of five that doesn't seem right either <laughs> but anyway it's it's weird it's six six by six by six okay I'm not sure there's a particular reason. At least I don't know of a reason. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, my goodness. What is the name of the white end of your fingernails? This is one of those sort of bonus cow questions that nobody really knows the answer to. Yeah, it's your nail tip. <laughs> and I just put it in there. I just put it in there because it's one of those fun things. It, it does have a name, that white part at the end at of the your very, nail. Like, okay. Yeah. And it's not called your nail. What's it called? You, what did you say? Nail tip. Nail, <laughs> as opposed to the cuticle, cuticle, which, why didn't they call it the nail root? 
<laughs> or the you know beginning. <laughs> I don't know. If cuticle has a has a word for it, there must be one for the other one, right? Yeah. What is it? Does anybody know? Nobody's gonna. Know Nobody's this. So we're typing just gonna, up. We're so just we've... gonna jump right through. It's called a lunule. Looks like a moon. Lunule. Of course, I was gonna say lunule, but I didn't want to <laughs> just sound like I was. I didn't a, know it all. This is one of the things I like to do in this show: teach everybody something <laughs> that they can go to the water cooler tomorrow, or they, they're they're when one of their friends comes over, or they talk to their mother on the phone, or whoever. You can say. Do you know what that the white thing is it's called yeah. a lunial? But my lunial keeps cracking. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the ones that are possible to answer. Kathy knew that one, by the way. Really? How about that? Okay. Google has a well-known Google. Google has a well-known logo that many people see multiple times a day. How many colors are on the classic Google Word logo? The Google Word logo. You know, it says Google. Right. And it's. Oh. What do you think? I think there's four. Four? Is there five? Google. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not talking you out of it. There's, there's, there's six letters in Google. Uh-huh. Four colors. I think there's four colors. Huh. What, would your, what would your guess be as a color? <laughs> Yellow, yeah. red, yeah. blue, and green. Yeah. Keep guessing. And I'm wrong. I can tell by the way you're saying. Kathy's saying five. Because there are four. <gasps> there are I indeed four. Right. In fact, there's a good reason for it. Why is um, it? It's, it's blue, red, and yellow, which are mm -hmm. the basic colors. Mm -hmm. Blue, red, and yellow. And then that green L is designed to say, but we're not going to just stay standard always. We're going to do some things that are out of the box right. kind of thing. Oh. Not just your standard red, blue, and yellow, not the basic colors, but also a little bit of green. Well, I feel, I feel vindicated. But I find it odd when, it, when I thought about it. Why are there two blue letters? It bothers me now. There's two blue letters, two red letters, and then a yellow one and a green one. <laughs> Why? I don't like that. <laughs> David said, I think red was twice. You're you right. Yeah. Red was twice, blue was twice. Okay. That's the Google. That's the Google logo, and the, and the reason behind it. Okay, I've really. Can you got we it stop right. now because I think. Right. I, okay, okay. Now I'm. This I is why everybody like thinks you're cheating. I'm hot. It just so happened you were looking at me when I was, when I was answering that when I was writing that particular question. Are you okay? Here's the next. We're going to have a fight about this here's on the, air. <laughs> <laughs> here's the next one. Do okay. do books have the even numbered pages on the left hand side or the right hand side? When you look at a book, you look at books every time and they have a standard, there's a standard numbering approach um, to letters. So is the, is the even number on the left or is the even number on the right? Oh, my. Hmm. True in magazines, true in books. It's Can't like, saying right. if you look up, if you look up, um, like how to number something, uh -huh. you know, like officially in the, whatever, the Funk and Wagner. Wagnall. <laughs> Funk and Wagnall. Uh, <laughs> writing, what do you call that writing book? It's a writing book. I should know because it's in college. But you know, it's the, exactly how to do uh, end notes and all that kind of stuff. Oh. That book, mm -hmm. it'll tell you. It'll tell you that even number pages should always be. We have two lefts and one be? right. Left and right, a little bit of disagreement. Yeah. Let's look at it for a second. The answer is. Even on the left, left Even hand on side. The left. See that there's a there's the Wikipedia picture with the number nine seventy eight. Page nine seventy eight is on the left. What do you think about that one? <sighs> Did you know that that it was on the? Yeah, Kathy said. Not all the not all of the answers come up onto my screen, so she did. I can see on my computer that she did change her answer to left before we. Yeah. Yeah. Well, page one is on. It makes sense. The cover doesn't count. Right. But if you, if you're looking at a magazine, you'd think like the cover would be the first page, and the second page would mm -hmm. be on the left. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so anyway, it's it's on the left. <laughs> Always on. The Always left. on the left. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Good logic. Good logic. Let's move on to question number eight. Question number question eight. Question number eight. Okay. 
Uh, where is question number eight? I don't know. There you go. Oh, this is a good one. You want to do this one? Yeah. I love the seven doors. <laughs> I do. Sleepy, happy, sneezy, grumpy, dopey, and doc. Yeah. Who's missing? Sleepy, happy, sneezy, grumpy, dopey, and doc. There's only six. There's, what's the seventh one? Yeah. Who's missing? I don't know. Hmm. I, oh, well, I think I got really? it. Really? Do you I'm know so them in excited. order? No. Do you know them in alphabetical order? No. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about these last, la- was it last time? I don't think it was and on the show. It? Oh. I think it was on the show prep. We talked you about asked it. me about it because Dopey was missing. And I always remember to have Dopey has to be in there because it was a family joke about Dopey. So. Yeah. Um, but I think I know. Tom says me. He's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Good evening uh, to you. Yeah. Do you know? You know I, what the, I do. Okay. I Why don't you tell everybody? I we'll, think it's we'll bashful. Right. Bashful. Did you see bashful on that list? N- not on that list. No, no, bashful's not on the list. So, of course, it has to be I, bashful. I knew it. Bashful I knew was it. Seven. Well, at that? least I know. At least I know my seven dwarfs. I may not know how many stars are in the first row of the flag, but I know my seven dwarfs. All right. Next question. Okay. What logo that you've probably seen recently is made up of these colors? What common logo is made up of these colors? That one I think I know too. Do you? Do. You're on a roll. Well, yeah, I've been looking at that logo a lot lately. There's actually a whole page of uh, of just colors, and you're supposed to guess the logo from the colors. Oh very my. hard. Very hard. How do you? Where did you find that? Mm, it's out somewhere there. on the computer. Yeah. Somewhere on the internet. It's out there. Hmm. Well. It, that's where I picked up this color palette from that website. Is it one we've so been? Is logos. it one we've all seen a lot lately? Mm-hmm. Is it one? That's what I said that you've probably seen recently. That's what the question <laughs> says. It says it right there. See? David says NASCAR. See the question. It looks yeah. like NASCAR, doesn't it? Uh, Joel says Windows. Windows. Hmm. Good one. Tom says ABC Network. Uh huh. ABC. Oh yeah, that's like no. He, I think he means NBC, doesn't he? The Peacock. Maybe he means ABC. Could Kathy be. says Windows. I think uh-huh. it's yeah. What do you think it Olympic. is? Olympic. That's what it is. It's the Olympic. Those are the Olympic colors: <laughs> blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Yay! We talked about it on a show. We did. That's that so might be why it's still in my head. Yeah. So uh, yeah, those are the Olympic colors. Yeah. All right. Here's okay. here's one for you, mechanic. How many lug nuts are on a standard car wheel? Oh my. Okay. So let's say so uh let's Nathan see. went to college today. His room his roommate has a car and his roommate had a flat tire on the wall. Oh, no. So he had to change the tire. He got out his crowbar yeah. and he loosened how many lug nuts? One thing that we can be sure of, he loosened some. Six. <laughs> it's on your car. Sometimes it's sometimes it's hidden behind. They, they used to hide them a lot more behind hubcaps. Now they're, now they're, you know, you can see them a lot more. Tom's saying five. Hmm, five? Yeah. Five or six. Saying yeah, six. four, five, six. What's the difference? What? I mean, they're all hard to get off. <laughs> Let's face it. When you have to change a tire, you're hoping it's four. <laughs> How about three? Oh, I know three. Three would be good. <laughs> oh. I, I've it's... seen cars that only had one. Speaking of NASCAR. Really? Yeah. That, that, that seems dangerous. One big lug nut. There's several people saying six. Right. Several saying five. So. Let's, take a, let's take a look at the answer. It's probably five or six, right? Don't yeah. you think? But it is five. five. There are five on the common. Uh, on the common, it's it's uh, it's an odd number so that it's balanced. So that if they if they were if it were evenly distributed, they would rattle off more easily. Tom works on cars. I should have gone with his. I should have known. known that he would know that for <laughs> that sure. He was going to have that one. So, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so okay. that's good. So there's there's five, five of them. Tom, and they got five too. Tom did indeed. Yeah. Okay. All all the car people would know that, that's and you right. should have. I sh- no. Okay, here's another impossible one. <laughs> one oh that my. no one knows. What does IKEA stand for? You have you ever been to IKEA? Yes. Yeah. Have you guys? Have you all? Have you been to IKEA? Yeah. Well, so when you went in, didn't you think? Wonder what IKEA means or what IKEA stands for? No, I well, thought I'm Mr. You, Ikea owned this store. I'm telling you, it stands for something. It's, oh. it's capital I, capital K, capital E, capital A. 
It's not capital I, small A, small E, small A. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all know. capital. So it stands for something. What does Let's it stand for see. that you'll never get? We're okay. not going to take too much time. Okay. Anymore. You ready for the answer? I'm ready for the answer. Kevin. What it stands for is the founder, Ingvar Kamprad, and the farm where he grew up. Oh, no. Elmtrad and his hometown, Agnard. Isn't right. We all would know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it came from. It's, this, it's the amalgamation of the founder's name, the farm where he grew up, you figure that one out, and his hometown. I just thought that was a fun little fact. That's just the most important part is missing. So I don't know. Maybe it was Ikea. <laughs> anyway. All right, here we Ingvar go. Ingvar Kamprid Elmtrid. I won't remember that. It's just a bunch of abbreviations. Okay. All right, here we go. For those in Canada, you have a different question than for those of us outside of Canada. Okay. okay. Question for those not living in Canada What colors make up the Canadian flag? Question for Canadians and a bonus question for everyone else How many stars are on the European Union flag? Oh, my. European Union. So, question one: What colors make up the Canadian flag? Because you know sometimes Americans aren't totally observant, and so True. that's the point we're trying to make here: is, is that not all Americans even know how many stars there are on the top row of their own flag, let alone what color. David says for the, the Canadian, Canadian flag, flag is red and white, and so does Joel. And so do I. Mm-hmm. Well, of course. The Canadian flag is red and white. It's a maple leaf. It's red yeah. in between two bars. And the European flag, Union flag has 12 stars. Oh. Do you know why it has 12 stars? Why does it have Because 12 represents nothing. And there, it, there isn't any significance to the number 12. And if they were going to pick a number, it, it was going to cause conflict. And so they Keep just everybody happy. So they just, just picked 12. It 12. It's a unifying number. That's that's why they picked 12. <laughs> Some mom came up it's with a, that. It's a, it's a number that unifies. <laughs> we're not gonna fight over it. It's 12 that's right. and that's we're it. We're not gonna we're not gonna pick seven. We're not gonna pick something that's on somebody else's flag. We're just gonna pick 12. Nobody's right. nobody likes 12. We're, not we're gonna, going with that. We're one. not fighting over it. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad most people knew the Canadian flag, but yeah. not everybody. Sometimes things are a little bit hard. Okay, yeah. here's another. You use Q-tips all the time, right? What does the Q in Q-tip stand for? What does the Q? I mean, everybody knows they're called what the Q-tips, Q Q-tip. because that's that's a that's not that's a brand name, right? So, what does Q-tip mean? Why do they call it a Q-tip? <laughs> I'm scrambling for this one because it's shaped like a Q, of course. It is? <laughs> well, it's a circle with a little thing coming out of it. <laughs> David said the Q stands for cleaning. <laughs> How about quality? That's what it stands for. Q in Q-tip stands for quality. Happy we had. Yep. It's nicely done. They, it's the high quality Q-tip, which is, if you think about it, that's that's how you view Q-tips. It's it's. Premier. Yeah, you don't buy like the off the shelf ones. You're a little worried <laughs> that maybe they're going to break off in your ear Ooh, or maybe yeah. the cotton swab's going to come off or what. No, no. The Q -tip, quality Q -tip. Q -tip. These are Q tips. Yeah. That's what it stands okay. for. Okay. Well, was the original. we had people knew this. Okay. Question number 14. Number 14. In which hand is the Statue of Liberty's <laughs> fort? Oh, Another American trivia yeah. thing. In which hand is the statue, Lady Liberty? Mm -hmm. um, is Lady Liberty holding it like this, or is she holding it like this? Or, or maybe she's holding both. She's not holding both. <laughs> maybe this maybe much it's I... heavy and she's holding it like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. In which hand is the Statue of Liberty's? I'm torch? trying to... See her in my. I, I'm sorry for dominating. The, I keep reading the questions. I should let you read. You questions. should let so, me. Which one? Uh, hmm. Lady, Lady Liberty. Picture Lady Liberty. Have you ever seen? I'm going to say Statue right of hand. Liberty? We have three people saying right. David, Joel, Tom, saying all say right hand, and I'm saying right. 
<laughs> you're going to go out on a limb and just go I with the crowd. Just go with the crowd. No, I, <laughs> I think it's right. Which way did Tom Booth go? You're not going he against him. He said right hand. I'm not going <laughs> against Tom. He knows these yep. things. It's okay. the right hand. It's the right hand. When you're facing her, it's on your left, but it's her right hand. Okay. See? So you almost could have taken these any so impossible. We're getting them. What's that? Uh, what? You getting some of them? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. All right, let's move on to number 15, okay? Number 15. Question okay. number 15. I, I'll give I you think, this yeah, one. Yeah, I think I should be able to read go. one. Question number 15. On the U.S. currency, Lincoln penny. The Lincoln penny. Which way does yeah, Abraham there's more Lincoln than one, face? There's more than one type of penny. Right. So like, yeah, there's the wheat penny and all that. Okay, look. On the, see, you interrupted me. On the U.S. currency, Lincoln penny. Which way does Abraham Lincoln face? Left, right, straight on. Left, right, or straight on? Yeah, it is one of those three. I promise you, one okay. of those. It's one of is is Lincoln. So is Lincoln? You know, Lincoln is Lincoln thinking this way. Oh no, he, he's doing it because of Lincoln. Lincoln, I've been thinking. Where is he? Okay, he's facing left. Wait a minute, facing left. I think he's facing left. <laughs> <laughs> Phil says Lincoln faces to the right as we look at the penny. Everybody else is saying left. Mm -hmm. So everybody, you need to clarify you, you, which way. When you're looking at the penny, right? Is Lincoln looking to the left? Left or yeah. is he to the right? Yeah. What's the answer? I say left. Right. And, every, and, and everybody else David says right. And... Everybody else. Oh, that would be Lincoln's left. <laughs> Everybody's saying left, I guess. <laughs> but you say right. No, I said left. No, I said right first. I did. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I'm confused. I don't okay, even know what I everybody's said answer. right. Everybody else is saying left. But you want you want to switch because of everybody else. I do What's want Tom to, Booth but I saying? don't want to. Tom Booth is saying left. <laughs> <laughs> he faces, he faces right. right. His hey, left. You're it. right. You were trying to get me to change my answer, <laughs> and I. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew at least he was looking that way. Okay. Everybody's going to, now, now that we've mixed up left and right, he's going to, because we said that it was Lady Liberty's right in the last question. Uh -huh. Everybody's going to say he's facing his left. Yeah. Well, which is true. It's his left. You're right. Facing right. So we're all right. Yeah. yeah whatever. He just, just claim, just claim. <laughs> just check it off his, we got it. <laughs> just claim whatever answer you want. All right. What one are we on? I don't know. We're on number 16. Uh, 16. You want to read this one? Sure. Okay. Here's number six. On a standard touch phone. Yeah. Is the star button on the left or the right of the zero? Yeah, on to the left for some reason. But I meant on. I, but I meant it was on the left. <laughs> I've worked with you long enough. I know when you make goofs. On a standard touch phone, is the star button on the left or the right of the zero? Mm -hmm. So you have a star or a, a pound, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's on the left. Tom says left. On the mm -hmm. button's left or on your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking down at my phone, and I think the, That's the, thing. the star is on the left. Yeah. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Oh, Kathy <laughs> says he is left. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's on the it, left. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's to the left of the zero. You know, I did that by process of elimination oh, because I that? rarely use the star but button. You use the pound anything, button. But I use the pound yeah. button a lot. So That's actually yeah. why the question was asked the way it was. Uh -huh. Okay. What what are the name of the string? What, what is this question? Oh. <laughs> what are the name of the stringy things that occur when you peel a banana? What is the what is the name? What do you call? Is what this should say. What do you call the stringy things <laughs> that little, occur when you peel a banana? But you're not sure whether you should, should eat, eat them or not. <laughs> not. But you don't want to make a big deal of it, so you go ahead and eat them anyway. And you're still wondering if you're yeah. like what it is. So in the future, you can say what it's called. Oh, okay. Instead of just instead I of just, just say, should I eat the stringy thing? thing. <laughs> it's part of the peel. It's the uh -huh. So you think it's the peel? It's is wait, that what you're going with? No, I'm going to say it's the peel. It's the epiderm. It's the dermis. It's the dermis string. <laughs> <I don't 
Okay. I'm trying to make up a word because I know it's not just a stringy thing. It's a real word. Tom says it's gross. Whatever. Another it is. another one of those. Another one of those. Nobody's gonna actually know the answer. Oh. It's called a phloem. See, I knew it was gonna be something P -H -L -O -E -M. like phloem. L O E M. That's why it's worth knowing because it sounds gross. It's, it's the right name. Somebody named it the right thing. It's called the phloem of okay, the banana. But is is it okay to eat phloem? Yeah, of course you can eat the phloem. Gross. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's just too close to phlegm. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be able to. So eat there's another again. one of those words, phlegm. Okay. You can read. You can remember the word phlegm. Let's move on All as right. quickly. Please as we do. Can. <laughs> Stop it, phlegm. Okay. Which two keys on a qu don't don't look? Which two keys on a QWERTY keyboard have raised dots on them? There are two keys on your on your keyboard. The one that you use. That have dots on them. What are the two? See, you have to figure it out. You don't know. F and J. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, I can see well, you. I can see your lunules. You oh, <laughs> watch out my phone. I, I'm gonna <laughs> left my banana back there. I was just thinking that because they're there, they're raised dots, so you get your hand on the right key. That's what they're for to place your to place your hands. So is it mm -hmm. F and J? Are they? Is it the F and the J, or is it the next one over? Which and is Tom it? says F H. Mm -hmm. I think it's. I'm trying to touch my keyboard. Can I touch my keyboard? No, that's just cheating. Okay, well then I'm going to. I mean, stick these are with everyday things you're, you're supposed to know. <laughs> we have F, David says F and J. Yeah, it's the F. Yeah. Okay. We got it. The F and the J. They've got little dots. I have little bars. I've illustrated. That piece. <laughs> there you go. Okay. F and J. Next question. We do see those. We do. Yeah, that's the idea of this game. Mm -hmm. see, <laughs> it's things that you see every day. <laughs> you don't always. I was just it. agreeing with how observant we aren't sometimes that we do see things every day. Well, that's sort of the idea of the game. Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> I like pennies, you see pennies and dollar bills, and yep, I don't see like pennies that. and dollar bills so Bananas. much anymore. People whip out their debit card. They don't. I, I, I might be one of the few people that carries cash. Everybody has. And, does and a, a penny. Does a merry-go-round turn clockwise or counterclockwise? Which way does it turn? Oh, that's. I think I know. Clockwise or counterclockwise? We have. Look, I'm telling you, people are popping up counterclockwise. Everybody says counterclockwise. Everybody knows this one. I guess so. There, you have three counterclockwise. Isn't that interesting, though? Why don't why do merry-go-rounds all go counterclockwise? So why don't I'm going to create a merry-go-round that goes the other way around? I'm sure there's actually a good reason. Why would you do that? Because the people that are standing and watching it are waiting. They want to see the faces of the people that are I coming see, and you by. You can see them if they're coming the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem with creating a clockwise merry-go-round is somebody would get killed. Like they would try to step onto it, <laughs> they're going the wrong way. So you can't well, do it now. But hi, Susan, Susan I'm going I'm, I'm to create that in the Everybody most dangerous merry, uh, most dangerous merry-go-round in the world, <laughs> and make it go clockwise. Yeah, is that a great idea? You That's could a, advertise it as the as the most a scary dangerous. Ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going on the tilt and whirl, only even more dangerous. Okay. Yeah, it goes counterclockwise. It also says oh. most of us are right-handed and have a propensity to turn to the left easier. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know if that's right, but that sounds very that sounds clever. good, Joel. I, I, there probably is a reason, and I didn't happen to look that one up, ah. so I don't really know what the, okay. what the reason behind that one is. How many curves are there in a standard paper clip? <laughs> curves in a paper clip. <laughs> yeah, a paper clip is a piece of metal, and if you're gonna if you're gonna fashion it into a paper clip, you have to bend it. How many times do you have to bend it to make a standard paper clip? <laughs> Three. <laughs> Susan says you're sadistic. Uh, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think it's three. She says three. Susan agrees with me. Three. David says three. We've got three. Yeah, Tom says four, but it's three. It's three. It's three. <laughs> the standard paper clip has three curves in it. Okay. Two to hold the paper and one to go around the bend so that you know so that you're actually holding the paper. Okay. All right, next. 
uh, and next to last, actually. Oh. Uh, I thought this was a fun question. Does a standard pencil have six or eight sides? Standard number two pencil, how many sides does it have? You use it every day. I have one sitting right I there. I think it has six. I have one sitting right over eight. there. Eight. Six or eight. <laughs> I I'll tell you a funny thing. Hand, if you like... look up pictures of pencils, uh -huh. sometimes they're wrong. Like drawings of pencils and things like that, sometimes they're wrong. So be careful. You, you, look up. you could just have a round one. Because I had to look up pencils for this. No, yeah, but we're talking about the standard pencil. I did go look up a picture, and uh, a couple of the pictures were not correct. Huh. Well, the majority is saying six. Mm -hmm. Kurt says, what do you mean curves five sides? But okay. Curves to a paper clip. Oh, okay. We're just talking the actual curve on a clip. Yeah, how many okay. curves? How many bends do you have to you have to have a machine and you have to bend it three times <laughs> to make a paper clip? Kathy's being ornery and she said seven, but we, we think seven? But she went back and said six. Yeah. Good one. So halfway between six and seven. <laughs> yeah. Six and eight. Uh oh. Did you lose the show? I'm gonna get it back. Okay, well, I'm going to move forward while you get it back. Please do. The answer is there are six. See that? Aha. Uh -huh. See that pencil right there? You can see. I do. Six. That's, that's exactly we what were it right. Like. If you had more, it would not be a standard pencil. It would be an abnormal. That's possible, of course, to have a pencil with a different number of sides on it. But, but the standard number two. Number two pencil, pencil if you go by that. Six yeah. sides. Okay. There's names of a whole bunch of things on pencils, too, uh -oh. but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go after that. Eraser. A, yeah, but what's the little piece of metal called that holds the eraser on? Our eraser holder? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's for another show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, this is the last question. Oh. The last question is, what clothing changes occurred during this show? Ah. Huh. What clothing changes occurred during this show? I wonder how observant people yeah. really are. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty pretty uh you you will be amazed I will think. they yeah you will be amazed at the number of clothing changes we thought, that happened we thought maybe that uh people would catch it and start to point it out and that would be yeah but nobody but did. it looks like maybe nobody nobody caught it <laughs> tom says no clue Kurt says a t-shirt <laughs> hmm Definitely all different. All right. Well, you you can you can scroll in this show. Says. So even as the show changes, I changed my clothes. Changed my clothes. In fact, I started wearing this. This was the show I began in red. You dressed in layers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I wore red for the first for the first part. Good thing you didn't have heat stroke. <laughs> and then after question eight, uh. Where I got While to read. Ida was reading, I switched <laughs> to a gray shirt. <laughs> and so I wore a gray shirt yes. until Ida read again, and I switched to a blue shirt. <laughs> was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that, was our, that was our fun in seeing how observant uh, you all. So you can roll it back, and you'll see yep. <laughs> question eight and question, what was the other one? Question 15. 15. So I changed a question between, you know, question eight. Before question eight, I was wearing one color. After question eight, I was wearing another one. And Same thing with 20, 15. At 15, you change yeah. it again. So, <laughs> so that was fun. In fact, here's some pictures just to prove it for you. Uh, I started in red and then switched to gray <laughs> <laughs> and then moved into blue. Oh. <laughs> we are